His trial took a long time due to his erratic behavior inside the courtroom. In the early morning hours of May 4, 2016, the air temperature was a chilly 34 degrees Fahrenheit, with a sinister scene unfolding in Louisville, Kentucky. Shortly after midnight, Louisville Metro police officers were called to a building. 800, on South 41st Street after reports of shooting. Upon their arrival, they discovered a man seriously injured as a result of a life-threatening bullet wound to the torso. Despite desperate attempts to save his life, he died of his wounds one hour later. Only the victim was identified. He is 40-year-old Christopher Jones, a beloved community member who recently obtained a job after a long period of unemployment. Family members revealed that Jones was looking to provide more financial support for his two young children. The case was handed over to experienced investigators in the Metro Homicide Division, Louisville, marking the beginning of a complex investigation. This incident marks the 38th homicide in Louisville. In 2016, marking a stark 40% increase over last year, as investigators delved deeper into the investigation, they discovered horrific details related to the night of the shooting. As he was returning home, a car approached Jones and fired shots. The alleged shooter was 25-year-old Bryce Rambo Rhodes, an aspiring rapper with a history of criminal activity. In the back seat were 16-year-old Maurice Gordon, known as Reese, and his younger brother, 16-year-old Larry Ordway, 14-year-old and a fourth passenger. 15-year-old Carter occupied the front passenger seat. In contrast to the violent scene they were involved in, Morris and Larry were known to be impressionable teenagers with no history of behavior problems at school. Larry was a student, while 16-year-old Morris was not. In middle school, they were still navigating the criminal justice system, and despite their clean records, easy smiles, and braces, Maurice and Larry found themselves often targeted by school bullies, making them vulnerable in their own way. Their mother, Elizabeth Marion, was able to establish a relationship with her sons and soon she stepped into a mentor-like role for the boys, and Larry and Maurice, despite their weaknesses, began to look forward to the roads. He included them in one of his music videos and filmed them as part of his gang, impressing them with their activity. The roads would give them food, new clothes, and rides in cars, resembling a persona of generosity and street cred. However, he saw family members eventually confronted Rhodes, suggesting that he had recruited young boys to do his dirty work. One aunt said, he lured these children by buying them shoes, taking them to the mall, and taking them out to eat. Yes, he was a predator. Living in an area with high crime rates, where she was. Murders, especially among young males, are a common occurrence, making the family feel increasingly worried. On the evening of Saturday, May 21, Rhodes, accompanied by teenagers, arrived at the children's home of their friends and told them that they were going to a party and promised them a night full of excitement. The children reassured their mother of their speedy return. However, the next day, now in May, the police were called to the backyard of an abandoned house located in the 4000 block of River. Park Drive. A community member reported the death of a man. When the police arrived, they discovered that the two bodies had been stabbed several times and set on fire. 
a high school teacher identified them. As Morris. Gordon and Larry Ordway, 8th graders who had not. Been to school since. Last Friday. The boy's mother realized that they were. Out with Rhodes on the evening of the 11th, so she. Called the police and named Rhodes as the. Prime suspect, subsequent investigations led. To the arrest of Rhodes along with two. Potential accomplices, Ann and Carter. After the initial denial, Carter and Taylor made. Detailed confessions about Rhodes's planning of the. Double murder, fearing that the brothers would report charges of. Killing Christopher Jones on May 4th. They revealed how Rose forced them to participate and. Lured the brothers to his apartment, where they were tied up, tortured, stabbed, and their bodies set on fire. Prosecutors built a strong case against. Rhodes supported by substantial material evidence, eyewitness testimony, and confessions from Carter and Tyler. Despite Rhodes' attempts to destroy evidence, including burning clothes, shoes, and the back seat of his car, the legal process faced many challenges and delays amid the horrific legal procedures surrounding the heinous crimes she committed. Price Rambo Rhodes' company a horrific subplot has emerged. Within the courtroom itself, Rhodes, who was once a mysterious criminal, became a widely known figure in the state of Kentucky, not only because of the brutal murders, but also because of his disturbing behavior during the trials. Disruptive Rhodes a pivotal moment occurred about a week after his arrest when his lawyer, Brendan McCaud, announced that he could no longer represent Rhodes due to a conflict of interest. During the hearing, McCaud claimed that everything seemed calm until Rhodes unexpectedly spat at him. This act of contempt was a reference to Bryce Rose began a turbulent relationship with the legal system. Tensions rose during a later court appearance, raising concerns about the safety and order of the judicial process. His behavior became increasingly erratic, leading to a physical altercation with a fellow inmate. Reports emerged that he beat the prisoner to the ground and threatened to kill him, which reflects the brutality of the crimes he was accused of committing. Moreover, Rhodes directed his threatening behavior towards the very institution that seeks to achieve justice for the alleged victims. In a shocking turn of events, he was accused of making terrorist threats. Against a local court judge, this threat confirmed Rhodes' disregard for the legal system and his willingness to extend his terrorist reign even within the confines of the courtroom the courtroom, which should symbolize a space of justice, order, and resolution, became a battleground as Rhodes attempted to reject control and instill fear. His actions not only disrupted the legal process, but also served as a stark reminder of the challenges the justice system faces in dealing with individuals who appear as this was an extremely brazen snub. As the legal saga unfolded, Rhodes continued to defy authority. In January 2017, corrections officers discovered a hole drilled in the stone blocks in his cell containing a metal object. He allegedly grabbed the object and flushed it down the toilet before the officers could retrieve it. These actions led to additional charges of criminal mischief in the first degree, escape in the second degree, and tampering with physical evidence. Rhodes' behavior in the courtroom became a focal point in media coverage, turning him into a symbol of defiance and resistance against the justice system. His actions, from belittling his lawyer and threatening the court judge, not only demonstrated his lack of remorse, but it also showed a profound disregard for the seriousness of the legal process. Seven years after 
The initial incident, Rhodes remains detained. Awaiting trial for the murders of Maurice Jordan, Larry Ordway, and Christopher Jones. Despite facing additional charges for various incidents and disruptive behavior while in prison, Rhodes continues to challenge the legal system in in October 2022, a judge ruled that Rhodes was ineligible for the death penalty due to evidence of mental disability and serious mental illness. However, in April 2023, the same judge ruled that Rhodes was mentally competent to stand trial, and the possibility of life imprisonment without parole loomed. If he was convicted, and it was determined new trial date. December 2023 The legal saga surrounding Brass Rambo Rhodes has not only gripped the community but has also become a symbol of the challenges in the criminal justice system. This dramatic, manipulative case and legal battle reflects the complexities of tackling crime and seeking justice in a society grappling with its vulnerabilities and flaws. While society awaits the closure, the trial of Bryce Rhodes may serve as a turning point, prompting people to think about the issues that the system suffers from and the need for reform. What do you think, our dear viewers? Do not forget to tell us your opinions in the comments below. Also, do not forget to support us with the like button and subscribe to the channel to receive all new updates. In the safety of God.